Welcome back. There is some pressure on the market, uh, like we've been telling you, practically at the lows of the day. Satish Ramanathan, CIO of Equities at uh, JM Financial Asset Management, is joining in. Satish, uh, pleasure having you on the show today. So before we start talking about your approach, your portfolios, and you know what you're picking and choosing, just a sense on the fact that uh, we are so close to all-time highs, but something or the other seems to be souring sentiment. And now it seems to be all this global talk, you know, this U.S. debt ceiling. Uh, what's the sense you're getting on the market? You know, we've, we've had a sluggish first half, uh, barely managed to come back to all-time highs. Second half, uh, what are you predicting for the market? I think you're on mute, Satish. Good morning, and thanks for Good having morning. me. Uh, I think what we expect is that the market momentum in terms of earnings uh, is going to pick up from here on. We have seen uh, all the raw material prices coming down. We have seen the WPI CPI gap expanding, typically meaning that WPI indicator of raw material prices coming down. So margins should be looking up for corporate India from here on. And uh, we saw this uh, uh, improving in the March quarter. We'll see this expanding in the June quarter and probably reaching its peak by the September quarter. As regards market sentiments, uh, what we see is that, yes, there are a lot of global uh, crisscross currents uh, taking place. Difficult to predict, but I think we should just focus on earnings and earnings growth domestically and keep investing there. So, okay, uh, just to follow up on that, you said earnings should get better from here on. Uh, what is the uh, the actual increase you're penciling in for FY24? And we're trading, I think, around 19 times as of now. Uh, so, do you expect uh, multiples to head higher from here? Uh, multiples ought to stabilize here. Uh, it may not uh, move up given the uh, money flow issues that we have globally. But at least we should pause here from the valuation side. We shouldn't drift down too much from here on. One, as regards the uh, earnings growth, what we have seen uh, uh, year to date, uh, the last quarter we have seen 400 companies report. We have seen a 10% YY growth. And uh, I think this will keep accelerating uh, as the commodity prices cool off. Uh, banks, which were a significant contributor last year due to uh, NPLs coming down and provisioning coming down, would probably start cooling off unless they have credit growth. Uh, so uh, banks would be a, a lower contributor to earnings momentum as compared to the manufacturing space. Hmm. Uh, Satish, uh, morning. This is uh, Reema Tendulkar here. Uh, I remember in our last conversation, you said that you see value in emerging infrastructure assets and you were quite bullish on names like KEC, Kalpata Rupar and even large cap companies like l &T. Now, when it comes to manufacturing another space, the electronic manufacturing space has turned very hot. And this quarter, all the companies have reported good numbers. Dixon, Amber, Keynes. Um, are you looking at electronics manufacturing as a space and is there value? Or do you think stocks have run up too much? The stocks have run up, but structurally, what we like these businesses because I think we are in a good place there. Uh, we need to localize. The government is creating incentives to localize this business and increase uh, uh, domestic ex uh, domestic consumption, exports also. So uh, I think that's a good place to be in. And uh, we do hold some of the stocks that you mentioned. If the valuations right now are expensive, can someone buy at current levels? While we don't give recommendations, uh, what we do say is that if you take the longer term view, I think there's uh, value in these stocks, in uh, many of these okay. stocks. Okay, uh, Satish, you know, another uh, pocket which has really stood out this earnings season has been the auto pack, right? I mean, across the board, we saw uh, a lot of good surprises come through on autos. Do you think that this is a place where you're willing to take a bet? And if you do want to play the auto pack, would you, which way would you do it? Do you look at the two wheelers? Do you look at, you know, the regular car makers? Is it the ancillary companies? Uh, anything from that basket seem attractive at current levels? I think the auto sector would also be a beneficiary of lower input costs and uh, we have seen this uh, play out to some extent and there is still some juice left in these uh, names because primarily 
what we see is that uh, the input costs could keep heading down for many of these leading manufacturing companies. And also the interest cost could come down for the consumers. The only wild card as it stands is the uh, fuel cost and the technology issues that we have seen uh, play out in terms of EVs and things of that sort. But uh, broadly speaking, I think um, the auto pack should continue to uh, report decent numbers going ahead. Okay. Uh, what's the expectation uh, from the consumer space, uh, uh, the way you see it, Satish? Uh, if you could just sort of cut it up between staples, where trends have been extremely mixed and uh, also discretionary. So, uh, in, in terms of staples, I think we, we have seen some of the input cost pressures easing and we have seen margins actually expanding for some of them. Uh, I think they hit a, a low about three quarters back and since then sequentially margins have improved. But what's happened is that consumption itself has taken a bit of a backseat, uh, especially rural India. So that's something which needs to stabilize. So uh, once the volume pickup and volume growth starts kicking in, and the margins are at a, a, a lower, uh, at a higher level due to lower input costs. Then we should see these earnings momentum picking up. As regards consumer durables, uh, what we see is that they have been impacted a lot by metal costs going up, and uh, also in terms of uh, financial uh, leverage being a little tight. I think both of this is kind of uh, unwinding itself and should aid earnings momentum for these group of companies. All right, Satish, got that. And we will leave it at that today. But we hope to have you back with us very soon to discuss more on the markets and some of these individual pockets as well. We were talking so much about, you know, the raw material prices and the commodity costs. So we're going to take a short break.